Hai Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh Boleh dengar suara medium Jelas Boleh someone comment Boleh dengar suara Gambar jelas Ada sedikit lagging Yang pastinya ada sedikit lagging nanti Sebab network mungkin tak berapa ok Tetapi pada masa yang sama Madam record dekat komputer Supaya selepas ini Madam boleh uh, Post balik okay, Sebelum itu Madam nak tahu Gambar ok, suara ok Untuk kita proceed kelas dahulu Untuk next time review Madam akan bagi kopi Yang lagi jelas Gambar dan juga uh, Suara Would you say something here? Madam tengah waiting for the comments Selepas ini Madam akan mengajar non-stop Untuk recording uh, juga Hai 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 Boleh say something here? Right? Boleh say something here? Alright, thank for Alicia Untuk komen, yang lain mana Boleh say something Hadir Ke tak hadir ni Ke tengah tidur lagi ni Okay, bagus. So, kita continue dengan kelas. Okay, boleh? Shall we continue now? Alright. <coughs> Hai, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Anda bersama Madam Mazia Muhammad dan kita akan cover on topic number 6, Code Converter. Okay, topic number 6, Code Converter, kita akan uh, belajar through the OBS. <coughs> kita akan nampak PowerPoint kat sebelah tu. Dan boleh nampak gambar Madam sekali. Sebab subjek ini tidak memerlukan uh, Madam untuk tulis Kalau tulis pun boleh nampak right Betul? Boleh nampak? Okay very good Okay now Okay sorry Okay Boleh semua? Semua ready? Okay gambar okay Alright Alhamdulillah so, untuk kelas hari ini kita akan uh, proceed dengan topik number 6, Code Converter. <coughs> Dalam Code Converter, apa kita going to learn adalah, pertama ialah kita akan belajar apa itu Code Converter, Encoder, Parity Encoder, Parity Encoder IC, Decoder, Decoder IC, Decoder Application and Display Decoder. Bagi topik Encoder dengan Decoder, tak banyak sebenarnya dalam final. Alright, tetapi uh, konsep uh, you kena faham understanding about concept is much is very important sebab ada topik-topik juga ditanya uh, tetapi tak banyak sebenarnya. Alright. <coughs> okay. First of all, uh, kita tengok apa itu code converter. Code converter is being used for input and output devices lah bagaimana kita place code converter in between contoh keyboard, in between IO devices yang lain lah. So, kalau kita tengok gambar ini, Anda boleh nampak Alright So, this is block diagram for simple calculator Why actually we use encoder Ataupun decoder Alright Untuk uh, display uh, LED display for uh, Kita panggil simple calculator This example Contoh kat sini Input device Keyboard where you enter the number Okay, boleh nampak kat sini Kita ada uh, Keypad ataupun keyboard Yang mana kita boleh uh, place the input there Alright Between the keyboard dengan CPU Kita memerlukan encoder Encoder ini diperlukan untuk encode from DC uh, kita, kita panggil decimal value kepada binary value Sebab kita tahu CPU hanya boleh proses binary value 
After that Alright kita nak display balik kepada LED display We need decoder to decode balik From binary kepada uh, decimal value Alright until we get the number or the result will be displayed dekat LED display uh, This is how where we use decoder and encoder Alright boleh? Okay So fungsi encoder dengan decoder ini ialah for converter Alright it will translate from Tadi encoder adalah daripada Okay kita nampak encoder sini We have encoder Encoder tadi daripada decimal Kepada binary Boleh? Why decoder Nampak eh? Decoder kat sini adalah We have binary From CPU Then we want to display LED display Ini adalah uh, Kita panggil display lah tadi kan Alright So ini adalah number decimal back We want to convert or translate from binary to decimal back using decoder. Alright. So now this is uh, the the simple example of block diagram for calculator. Alright. So now kita tengok seterusnya. Apa itu encoder? Alright. So encoder ada beberapa type of encoder. Saya mencari duster. Sekejap. Alright. There are few type of encoder. Alright. So again, encoder fungsi dia lah untuk encode from decimal to binary supaya CPU boleh buat processing or execution. Alright. So now ada berapa jenis type of encoder? Antaranya ialah empat dua. Okay, this is type of encoder. Oh, bagus juga boleh kena whiteboard. Alright, we have type of encoder. This type of encoder. Alright. So, contoh yang paling simple adalah 4, 2. So, we have 4 input for example. Alright. We have 4 input. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have 2 output. This we call 4, 2. Alright. We have another one. We have 8, 3. Okay. We have 8, 3. Which is have 8 input and 3 output. We have 10, 4. This one used for uh, BC decoded. Alright. We have another one adalah 16, 4. Boleh? Okay Alright, seterusnya kita tengok adalah Topik encoder still Alright, so here Okay Page number Maybe tak pasti page number berapa You just follow you punya uh, nota Nota you can download from my uh, Island Madam Maziah Muhammad Dekat situ ada nota powerpoint Alright, so Example here, the job of the encoder In the calculator lah, turun slate Again from decimal kepada binary Alright Decimal kepada binary A block diagram BCD tadi Madian beritahu this stand for Adalah for BCD Alright BCD Okay kemudian Encoded 10 input Mengenai 10 input and 4 output Alright The encoder may have one active input And produce a unit output At one time Dia hanya ada one uh, Active input And produce a unit output Alright Itu adalah encoder Alright, now this is truth table for 10 for or the BCD encoder. Alright, 10 meaning that 10 input for adalah 4 output. Alright, you can see from here. Alright, we have 0 sampai 9. Kat sini terus ni. Eh? 0 sampai 9. Nampak? We have 0 sampai 9. 0 sampai 9. Okay, di mana total lah 10. Okay, boleh? Kemudian from 0 sampailah Kat sini adalah sorry From this is one one time hanya satu sahaja yang aktif Alright So pada uh, pada awalnya ialah 0 aktif Alright nampak kat sini sampailah nombor 9 So at one time we have here A, B, C, D lah Output dia this 0, this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 Alright this is how encoder punya truth table Contoh kat sini if a decimal input 4 is activated Input 4 is activated Alright, 4 become 1 So, the output adalah 4 Alright, which is 0, 1, 0, 0 This is how, this is encoder How encoder is working Kemudian kita tengok seterusnya This is an example tadi Alright, so now we look at on this From here, from encoder 10 for BCD Encoder Uh, from truth table kita boleh produce Kita panggil ini adalah equation Boolean expression 
and also the logic circuit. Alright, example we can see bagi A output A. Alright, bagaimana nak tengok? You tengok kat sini A A hanya aktif satu satu minimum aktif. So kat sini kita tengok adalah 8 plus ataupun 8 or kan dengan 9 we will get A. A equal to 8 plus dengan 9. We look at on B. B ada 1, 2, 3, 4. This is how we use apa? SOP. So, sum of product. We choose uh, output equal to 1 and then kita buat apa? Kita buat ending. Alright. Now we look at here. Okay. B equal to this one adalah number 4 or kan dengan 5 or kan dengan 6 and or kan dengan eh, sorry or kan dengan 7. Alright. So kita tengok tadi. B 4, 5, 6 and 7. Alright. Again, we look at and see. Alright. C, we have here 1. It's SOP. Choose uh, the result. Output equal to 1. We have C1. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, here C adalah 2 plus dengan 3. Alright. And then, plus again dengan 6 and plus 7. Alright. 6 and 7. Okay. We look at an example here. We have C. 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 7. Alright. So next we look at on D output. Alright. D output we we choose. We call as odd. Alright. Ataupun ganjil. Look at here. This is ganjil. This is 0, 1, 2, 3. Alright. 3. Then 5, 7. And here adalah 9. All the ganjil number lah. So here we can see. D equal to ganjil of 1. Nampak? D equal to 1. 3, 5, 7 and 9. So, this is D. Alright. After that, from here, we can make the uh, block logic. A equal to A, A, A or can dengan 9. B, 4, or can dengan 5, or can dengan 6 and or can dengan 7. C, uh, 2, or can dengan 3, or can dengan 6 and or can dengan 7. This all get get logic or remember d all right we have five input d we have one or can dengan three or five or seven and or nine this is what we call uh, bcd uh, encoder circuit from the truth table we come up dengan uh, boolean expression then we get a logic circuit all right boleh so jelas okay now Alright, so that is how we design uh, BCD tadi. Now we look at another example ialah 4 uh, time 4 2 encoder. Alright, di mana only input is activate at one time. So now we use the whiteboard to show this uh, process or this flow. Alright, so we first of all we draw the truth table for 4 and 2. 4 2 encoder. Right, we have here. Empat tak jelas. Okay, merah. Okay, we have four two. So we have four two encoder. It means that, okay, boleh. Alright, we have four two means that we have four input and we have two output. Alright, we have four started from zero. We have 1, 2, 3 And here let's say we have A and B Okay Alright So now This one we complete first 0 At one time Only 1 will be activate So means here we have 1, 0, 0, 0 0, 1, 0, 0 0, 0, 1, 0 0, 0, 0, 1 Alright Boleh? Jelas? Okay kita tengok example Okay so now from here we know that this one at lapa. Okay, we have this one at zero, this one at one, this one at two, this one at three. Right? So from truth table we can come up with the Boolean expression. Bagaimana we have a a which one lah? This one and this one which one at two plus three. Right? Two plus three. Bagaimana kita tahu this one at zero? 1, 2, 3 So 2 and 3 B we have for odd So B adalah 1 plus 3 Correct? Alright, jelas? So this is we call truth table This we call building expression 
Okay, from Boolean expression, we can draw a logic circuit. How to draw? Easy. We have A and B as input. Nampak tak? Okay, we have A and B input. And we, sorry, we have 0, 1, 2, 3 as input. And we will have A, B as output. So, this is gate all. Okay. So, for A, alright, the input is 2 and 3. We have 2 and we have 3. For B, we have 1 plus 3 is all. Okay. 1 plus 3. We are done. Alright, that's it. Okay. So, that is very simple. Alright, so this is an example of 4, 2 encoder. Baik. Okay, now we look at another example. What we call is purity encoder. Alright, purity encoder means here Alright, active high input is shown as below Di mana kat sini kita nampak kita use X X adalah don't care So we use instead of we make it uh, zero But we choose X Alright, so this X for don't care Alright, so kalau kita tengok kat sini Suppose if any, this is for X to, uh, Sorry, for 10, 4 BCD encoder Right. Suppose if any of the input 0, 1 or 2 is activated, the output is equal to 2. This is shown on the truth table as, alright, contoh kita ambil yang ni. Alright, kita ambil yang uh, kita panggil kat sini number 2 activated. Okay, so we have x as 1. So that represent x as mean then don't care. It represent, okay, kau tengok nota sebab kat sini tak nampak. So it represent x as, it represent 4 condition. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 Alright, so kat sini There are 5 possibility, sorry There are total 4 uh, possibility uh, For this condition Alright, kalau kita buat dalam bentuk uh, Kita panggil equation kat sini We will get this, right We will get this, right So this we simplify using this method Alright, so this example, it's same here For 4, 2, pretty encoder Right, so we make As x, alright so we will have more kita panggil keberangkalian atau possible possibility. Right. So here. Right. So uh, this pretty encoder truth table di mana ini adalah untuk uh, kita panggil apa? Uh, we can simplify using KMAP as well. And the common chip used for this encoder adalah 74147 and also 74148 which two common IC encoder use for this uh, particular lah This uh, we call as what This adalah 4 z, 4 2 Alright 4 2 kenapa 4 2 And then we get many uh, Possibility here Alright So now we look at on example This uh, adalah uh, Explanation about 74147 IC encoder Alright This actually use When we make a digital circuit Punya project Why actually we want to make Any project using the chip so we can instead of making small component, we can just buy the encoder. Alright, just really buy. Di mana for seven four one four seven ada total lah sembilan input. Alright, which is here ten is used for ten four. It has nine input value from one to nine. Alright, zero always no other key are pressed. So that is zero. There is no zero here because it assumes that no other key are pressed. So they need only nine. From 1 to 9 input also only here. Alright, that is 74147 IC encoder. Alright, 74148 encoder left 83 means that we have 8, 0 sampai 7, and we have 3 in output. Alright, so alright, this is the, the figure, and we have another one like E1 and E0. Alright, so this is another encoder. Alright, next, so we look at on decoder. Alright, decoder lah terbalik daripada encoder tadi. Instead of tadi, we know that encoder is convert from ban decimal to binary. Why decoder used to convert back from binary to decimal so that we can make a display. Like example tadi, we have simple calculator application. We need calculator, we need a LED display to display uh, the decimal value alright, after we press the keyboard or press the keypad on the uh, uh, calculator. Alright, so that is used for decoder. So it decode back from 
uh, boundary to decimal Back to decimal Alright, boleh? Okay, now Kita tunjuk kat sini Okay, this is BCD I'm eh, sorry, this is Example adalah BCD uh, decoder Right, this is BCD So, BCD decoder We have 4 Alright, then we will 4, 10 So, we have 4 input and 10 output 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Alright, this is BCD uh, decoder Alright, di mana in, we have 10 output lines and we have 4 input lines Okay Okay, this is a truth table Sorry, uh, you can see from you punya PowerPoint here We have a truth table here It shows that this is truth table for decoder, BCD decoder We have 4 input A, B, C, D Alright, then we have here we have output from 0 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 So, total adalah 10 output Alright? Alright, satu masa hanya satu will be accurated Alright, so this is uh, From tadi we get uh, We call this a boolean expression And then we get the logic circuit uh, Designed for 4, 10 decoder Or BCD decoder Alright, so this example for 2, 4 decoder Alright, I'll draw here Okay, kita buat untuk 4, 2 decoder 4, 2 means that eh, Sorry, 4, 2, 2, 4 uh, Because this one convert From binary to decimal We have 2, 4 2, 4 So, means that We have A, B We have 0, 1, 2, 3 Boleh? How about truth table? Truth table is very easy We have A, B and then we have 0, 1, 2, 3 A, B is input 0, 1, 2, 3 Which is the output Alright, at one time only one will be activated Alright, here we complete here first 0, 0, 0, 1 1, 0, 1, 1 Alright, so here we have this one activated This one, this one, this one So the rest will be 0 Okay, that's it, the truth table so, how about uh, we, the Boolean expression? Boolean expression, you know, we have to choose uh, because we use SOP, so we choose uh, logic 1 at top and output 1. So, let's say here, this is output 1 for 0, this output 1 for 1, 1, 1. So, let's say we have for 0, okay, we can see here for 0, we have here not A, not B. For 1, we have A, not A, B. Uh, C, uh, sorry, 1, 2 We have A, not B Alright, 3 We have A, B Alright Is that true? Alright So now from here we can draw The block diagram ataupun logic gates Based on this Boolean expression Alright, please refer to the page dekat nota Alright So now kita tengok seterusnya adalah BCD to decimal decoder Alright, bagaimana sebenarnya kalau tengok kat sini Alright, so kita tengok terus this one Alright, display decoder Display decoder adalah bagaimana kita menggunakan for example our calculator Our calculator have we call display decoder Ataupun 7 segment display Alright, you can see setiap Alright, tak nampak kat sini Sebab gambar saya Alright, macam mana nak buat ya Sekejap, saya kecilkan Okay, boleh Okay, can see Alright, from here you can see Alright, total we have A to G Alright, we have A, B, C, D E Sorry, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G Alright, for example If you want to display 0 Alright LED will be activated like A, B, C, D, E, F Kalau kita nak display 1 Only B dengan C Kalau 2 means that this this figure adalah Display number 3 So if number 3 We will uh, we will activate This LED A, B, G, C, D and E Alright so this is how 
decoder ataupun display decoder or seven segment display work. Alright, this is the output. Alright, so kalau kita tengok kat sini. Alright, this is how Alright, truth table for display decoder. For example, we want to display number zero. Alright, first adalah number zero. Number zero uh, yang LED ataupun will be activated lah A, B, C, D, E, F, except G. Okay, bagaimana tadi? Kalau kita nak display zero, alright, kita tak mau G ke sahaja. Yang lain kita nak, betul? Alright, so that is here means that the output G will be zero. Same goes to one, kita nak dua je B and C. Alright, ini seterusnya until we get the complete punya truth table. Alright, this is the truth table. Alright, this uh, common seven display decoder. If you buy the ready chip, we can choose seven four four six, seven four four seven, seven four four eight, and seven four four nine. You can Google this number, and you will see is uh, there is data sheet uh, that you can read through, uh, which represent this particular chip. Uh, this commonly used for display decoder. Alright, so that's it from me. Alright, Madam Azza, for topic number 6 Topic number 6 is very simple The most important part yang you kena faham adalah How you differentiate encoder dengan decoder Alright, encoder used to convert from uh, Tadi from decimal to binary Why decoder is used to convert from uh, binary to decimal back And then you have to remember what we call uh, Example of decoder encoder For 2, we have uh, 8, 2, 8, 3, 8, 3, sorry We have BCD 10-4 Alright And then you kena faham Periodic encoder Alright Seterusnya In decoder side You kena faham adalah The, the purpose for decoder Adalah to translate Atau to convert from Binary to decimal And then how the punya uh, Example tadi kita dah buat Ialah Decoder 2-4 Decoder BCD 10-4 uh, Sorry 4-10 Alright And then you kena faham Bagaimana nak jerit truth table Bagaimana nak buat Equation Dan seterusnya Buat gate logic dan sebagainya And then one example use dalam uh, decoder adalah display decoder Bagaimana setiap nombor ataupun setiap nombor yang represent dekat calculator Contohnya dekat display calculator is represent by setiap character Ataupun setiap logic Alright Tadi kita dah ada truth table for display uh, decoder Untuk uh, says that that specific number so that we can differentiate lah Yang mana setiap number yang display mana yang activate Alright, so itu sahaja pada Madam Maza. So kita berjumpa lagi kepada topik yang seterusnya. Selamat maju jaya. Okay, bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.